um, the style and the smooth lines of Asher Pacey. Asher Pacey, Gold Coast surfer, grown up surfing um, the points of Gold Coast. Mm -hmm. And have a look at his style and flow. It is that good. Ease off the bottom, crack off the top. Now the ease off the bottom, smash off the top. And he just makes stuff look so easy and, and like with so much feeling. Mm. I, it's almost, I'd almost kind of like just just like to just let this whole video play. The whole video is really, really, really good. It's, it's but, epic. Uh, all right, so let's, yeah, let's stop breaking down some of those movements and, and what he does. Okay, so straight away, something that I'm really liking about it is that no tension. Mm. Okay, so he's just kind of standing there, chin up, reading sections, and then making the most of the wave as it flows down the line. Yeah, now what's, what's really important here, and this is something which you've spoken about in some of the previous videos before, is you're, you're, you're normally all about having the arms up so that we're, we're, that we're poised and ready to go. Yeah. And when we have that kind of low energy body language, which is kind of huh and down, then that slows down our surfing. But in this case here, obviously he's really relaxed and his, his hands are down. Yep. But in this case, it's fine, isn't it? Well, what he's actually doing is he's waiting. He's mm. waiting for the wave's energy to build up. So if we have a look at this wave, look down the line here, it's got a lot more sort of suck where the section that he's on, it's, it's relatively flat. Yeah. Okay, so there's nothing that he can do with that section. So what he's opting to do is to actually go back to the foam and wait for the wave to hit the sandbank and start running again. Mm. Um, what I do like about this though is he stacked all his weight into the front foot. So he's got his ankle, knee, hip, shoulder all over that front yep. foot. So you may think, oh, he's not doing anything, but he shifted all his weight forward so that he could glide down that wave and set up again for the new section. Yep. Now, look what happens once he reconnects with the foam, okay, and he sees the energy in the wave. Oh, you, you can see, like, he's, he's fully leaning forwards on that front foot there. That's a really good place that you freeze-framed it. Okay, so he's looking down the line and he's anticipating what the bottom of the wave is doing. He's reading the bottom mm. to tell what the top's going to do. And he's like going, whoa, this thing's sucking up. I've got to start moving. So let's look at the energy in him. So he gets the arms up, he gets yeah. both his hands forward and he gets front on. So time so for he, action. He doesn't pat the cat and go sideways, he gets front on and then watch what the hands do. He compresses, he makes himself heavy. So he starts accelerating down that wave. And then he extends to go up the wave and almost under the lip does his turn. Now, one thing that I, want, I wanted to ask you about here with, with, with Asher Pacey, and it's, it's, that's, that, if you just stop, stop there, that move there where he's got that arm behind him. Yep. Uh, so his coffee cup arm's gone behind him. It's something which, which he does a lot. Is there yep. a particular reason why he's doing that? Yeah, so he's riding a 20. Um, the 20 has very little tail rocker in it. Okay. So every time you push on the twin fin, it will stop. So the only time you can do that turn is in the lip where you get a direction change and a pivot. Okay. So let's look when the, where the turn starts. It starts, let's call that there. And he pivots around to there. So it's, it's roughly about 90 degrees. Mm. Okay. And then because the nose is facing the beach, although he might have lost speed in that turn, because he's facing the beach, he will then get all the speed back again. Yep. So that's the only time you'd want to go sort of back foot, hand back, stop the board, and let it kind of accelerate out of the turn again. I think one of the uh, compulsory parts of doing a turn like that is you've got also got to have long hair, so that it, it so that you get the extra e extra spray from the hair. <laughs> nope, you don't agree with me. So, Never mind. <laughs> check this out. As he comes out of the bottom turn, right, nose to the beach, so he utilizes the wave for speed. Yep. So he doesn't have to pat the cat or doesn't look ugly. So his style looks super super smooth because he's using the wave's energy. Yeah. Now, the first thing he does is he reaches forward with the back arm, which means he's squaring up again. Yep. 
and the hand touches the water and he starts to lean into his bottom turn. Otherwise known as the coffee cup, so coffee cup forwards. If you, yeah. if, this, if this is the first video that you've watched uh, of the coach's eye, you're probably going, what, what are you talking about, coffee cup? Coffee cup is basically your rear arm bringing it forward so that you end up looking um, down the face of the wave rather than side onto the wave. So that's what, when we say coffee cup, it's about bringing that back hand forwards. Now, whenever someone does a twist, you have to have a straight back. If you look at golfers, boxers, they all got straight backs, which mm -hmm. allows them to further their twist and look more powerful. Yep. Okay. So he's got his coffee cup arm up, his back is straight, he starts to look where he wants to go. And then he passed their coffee all the way through and slides a tail. And then compress the knees into yep. a lunge position, which almost starts to almost look like a bit of uh, a Jack Robertson. Mm. Okay. Now, if that was a heavier barrel wave, Jack would have got the arms up even higher yep. and more weight over that front foot. And then, yeah, wave's done. So. The, the big takeaways that I'm seeing here is that he has got his hands up high, he extends to go up, and get full he compresses screen. to go down. Yeah. Okay, so his wave usage, um, the whole top to bottom, yeah. and when to compress, when to extend, the timing of his surfing is on point. Absolutely love his surfing. Yeah, so top, top to bottom. So what we'd like you to do is go to the top to bottom on the comments and type in what has been your biggest Takeaway. Do you like how I tried to tie on top to bottom then? I don't think it was very good, but we'll go with it. Uh, what, what's been your biggest takeaway from this video? If you haven't subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification bell so that you find out when the next video is coming out. But until we get to the next coach's eye, get out there, catch some waves, have some fun, and we'll see you in the, see you in the next video. Okay. Uh, did Siri think I was talking to it then? Possibly. Shut yep. up. Shut up, Siri. Siri's on. Anyway, make sure Siri's off. It don't. Okay. How do you tell her to stop listening to you? I don't know. Siri, stop listening to me. <laughs> stop listening to me. Hey, Siri, mind your own business. Stop eavesdropping on <laughs> conversations. Siri, start it up again.